So this is how to sow and grow carrots. Now carrots in themselves are fairly easy to grow, but they have a few specific needs. So having the right setup from the beginning can really improve your harvest. First thing to think about is that this is a root crop and therefore it wants to grow in fairly unobstructed soil. You don't want soil that's got stones in or very heavy clay soil. If you've got those things, then your carrot's gonna grow down, it's gonna hit some obstruction and it's gonna branch. So that's where you find those kind of mutant carrots that have branched into lots of different fingers. Now they're perfectly edible, but ideally we'd like a nice long straight carrot. The other thing to bear in mind when you're picking the soil to grow your carrots in is that unlike most veg crops that we're used to growing, carrots tend to prefer low nutrient soil. So if a soil's highly nutritious or got a lot of organic matter in it, you might find that again, your carrots tend to branch and look kind of slightly malformed. And that's as a result of there being too much nutrition, too much of a good thing. Now, the other really big thing to consider when you're growing carrots is carrot root fly. Now, this pest is prevalent across the whole country and they are amazing at sniffing out carrots. If you've got carrots, they will tend to find them. Now the thing that we have going for us is that they are really bad flyers. Basically they can only get about 60 centimeters off the ground so that gives you two potential ways to combat them. So either you can grow them in the ground but you're going to want to build a wall of really fine insect mesh around the outside of it like a fence 60 centimeters high. An easier way to combat the problem is to grow your carrots in containers. That way you can completely control the structure of the soil so you know that there's no obstructions in there that are gonna make your carrots branch and you can raise them up to make sure that carrot root fly can't easily access them. So when you're selecting your containers for your carrots, you don't have to worry about them being too deep. Around a foot is more than enough for most carrots, unless you're growing an exhibition variety where it's gonna get really, really long. And you wanna fill your container with compost. Now, like I said, carrots don't really like a lot of nutrition. So this is a great way to use up compost from other containers where you've potentially grown in them before for a season or two. They're therefore low on nutrition. And usually you'd maybe add that to the garden, mulch with it or put it back into the compost heap. But this is a great way to use that up because it's gonna be really low on nutrition and therefore perfect for carrots. So you want about half old low nutrition compost and half sand. Now the sand makes sure that you've got a lovely, loose, open structure to the soil, which is gonna allow those carrot roots to go down and form perfectly in a line. When you've got your compost and your sand in the container, start mixing it up. You want that really, really well mixed together and incorporated. So that is now the perfect container for growing carrots in. So now I'm just gonna make a number of little drills. Drills are basically just a little furrow in which we're gonna sow the seeds in. Now, carrot seed doesn't need to be terribly deep. We're aiming for it to be around one centimetre below the surface of the soil. Now, when you're sprinkling your carrot seed down your drill, aim to get it as spaced out as possible. This is because carrot root fly can smell carrot foliage from miles away and they will flock to your carrots. So you want to aim to disturb the foliage of the carrot as little as possible. So that means a little thinning as possible. So ideally what you're aiming for is your carrots more or less spaced how you want them. So basically you're aiming to have your seeds a couple of centimeters apart. Then as they grow, you can pull out the smaller carrots in between and eat them as baby carrots. That's better than thinning your carrot seedlings. So once you've sprinkled your seed down your drill, just very gently cover it with soil. Like I said, we're not deep sowing these. We just want them fairly close to the surface. Give them a good water, keep them moist. And within a couple of weeks, you'll start to see your carrot seedlings popping up. If it takes a bit longer, don't worry, because sometimes depending on what the weather's like, it can take a little bit longer. But before long, you should get your carrot seedlings. And then essentially you're just keeping them moist and leaving them to it. And then you want to keep doing that all the way from February through till late August. And by sowing a few carrots at a time all the way through the year, you can basically be eating homegrown carrots almost year round. And that's because carrots will keep in the winter months pretty well in the ground. So you can just pull them up as you need them and essentially use your container as a storage vessel for them. Now we're very used to seeing orange carrots in the supermarket, but originally carrots were black, purple, red, yellow, 
white. There are so many incredible colors and patterns of carrots to try out. If you want to give those amazing varieties a go, check out our seed range on shegrowsveg.com. We have some really beautiful options for you to try.